common question, uh, you know, we see a lot in uh, kind of like the Salesforce community is how can we see changes that were made to a field? So a lot of that might mean, you know, when, when was a field changed, meaning what date was that field changed, who made the change, what was, you know, the original value and what did it get changed to? Uh, and there's actually a feature in Salesforce out of the box, which is called field history tracking. Uh, and we're just going to take a look at that on uh, the account object on a standard object just to see how it works. So if I go over here to the object manager and I click into accounts, and the way I got to this setup menu in case you're really new to Salesforce is uh, if you're on the top right of your screen, you can just hit this setup gear. Um, anyways, uh, so once you're on the account objects, you can come over here to the fields and relationships tab. From here, you're going to see the four uh, kind of buttons up here on the top right, and the furthest one is set history tracking. So if I click that, uh, I can see that I already have this enabled, but if I were to check this, this is what it would look like the first time you look at it. I can hit enable account history. And once I hit enable account history, I can pick up to 20 fields, either standard or custom, just 20 total, and track um, and you know mark them off to be tracked. Uh, you can see here that it's split into two sections. So track old and new values. That means that these field types, you can not only see you know, when the change was made, you can see um, when the change was made and what the prior value was. This field down here description is a longer text field. So you can see it's just limited and you can track, you can track when the change was made, who made it, but you can't see what the content was of that field um, you know, in the first iteration and the second one. Um, so I'm going to save this um, and then we'll go ahead and kind of check out what a report or how to look at this through reporting. Uh, I'm not going to have any history in here because it's a new org. So I'll just show you how to get to the account history report. Um, one thing to also note, uh, other than the 20 field limit, is you're going to have an 18 month window to be able to pull history out of Salesforce. Um, just through your actual org here as an admin in reporting. Uh, and then you'll have 24 months of data available in field history to pull through the API. Um, so let's go over here and just look at real quick how to get to report. So I'm gonna go to my reports tab. I'm gonna hit new report. And you can see here, I'm just going to type in history. So I type in history and I can see all these standard objects here. And these are all the um, his, history kind of reports. Uh, and right here, uh, you can see out of the box as I click on that, you can see the edited by field, the field event, old value, new value, edit date. Um, so you've got all these fields um, that are available once you turn on um, history tracking that are going to get populated as soon as you start kind of moving things around in your org. Now, if you were using your org and did not have this turned on originally, just because you turn on field history tracking does not mean you're going to be able to see all of the edits that were done in the past. It's not retroactive. Um, so really, you know, as long as you can get up to that, uh, get into that setup menu, uh, click on the fields you want to track. Um, once you've done that, you can build a report here. Um, you know, just like you would any other report, you're building filters. Um, selecting the fields you want to see, including these new ones, uh, and just kind of track and monitor those changes as you see fit.